Hello everyone, I'm Svetlin Naku from Softuni Global, and I'm here again for the next episode from my Dev Concept series. In today's episode, I will be talking about the typical software development lifecycle in software engineering. We'll see why software development is not only writing code or creating software. I will explain to you the other aspects of it and what it takes to be a good developer. We'll learn about typical steps for moving from a business idea to a working software and through its maintenance. We'll be talking about requirements analysis, software design, software construction, software debugging, software testing, releasing, and maintaining software projects. All these things are well known under the name Software Development Lifecycle, SDLC. If you like this lesson, please like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Are you ready? Let's start! Software engineering is not just coding. Software engineers deal with many other aspects of software production and maintenance, which are far beyond coding and debugging. Software engineering provides methodologies, concepts, principles, technologies, patterns, practices and tools for requirement analysis, software architecture and design, software construction and implementation, software testing and quality assurance, deployment and maintenance, together with software project management. Let's talk about all these concepts and activities from software development, which are beyond programming. Software engineering is not just coding. The software development lifecycle SLDC, SDLC, uh, always include the following activities to some extent. Requirements analysis, software design, uh, software, software construction, uh, software testing, deployment, uh, and maintenance together with project management. Requirement analysis, uh, also called requirement engineering, uh, is the first phase of software pro projects. Requirement analysis is the process of determining the business expectations, functionalities and constraints for a software product, site, app, service or system. Software requirements uh, define the functionality of the system. They consist of functional requirements, what the system should do, and non-functional requirements, like performance and technical constraints. In software engineering, the requirements are described as formal or informal documentation, functional specifications, user story cards, or UI prototypes. Gathering and describing the requirements is the job of business analysts. They are people who talk with the user and project stakeholders and describe the processes, data flow and software requirements in a way understandable for software developers. Without clear requirements, writing software is messy and unproductive. Gathering clear requirements is important step at the start of any software projects, but it usually was to some extent throughout the whole life of the project. Software architecture and design are the technical plans and blueprints uh, to how to implement the software requirements. The system architecture describes how the system will be decomposed into subcomponents, tires, modules, components, etc., and the interaction between these subsystems. The 
This phase also includes the initial design of the data model, the database design. During the architecture and design phase of the software, the software architects or senior developers decide on the development stack, platforms and technologies and tools to be used for development. The technical design typically gives the big picture for the system and its structure. The detailed design is usually created during the software construction when developers implement the system. Software construction is the phase in which developers create the software. It is also called the implementation phase uh, because developers write the code to implement the planet functionality. During the implementation Uh, developers not only write code, but they also debug and test the code and fix bugs, take decisions how to implement certain functionalities, search for libraries and tools for certain functionalities, design and implement the backend APIs, implement the user interface of the system, write automated tests such as unit tests and integration tests, and integrate different system components. The construction takes most of the time and resources during the development. Software testing uh, and quality assurance confirms that the developed software conforms to the requirements. Software testing and verification is performed by the quality assurance engineers, QA engineers. QA engineers test the code by performing manual and automated testing and report bugs in the bug tracking system and track the work on fixing the bugs later. Software release and deployment is the process of building the software packages uh, from its source code, publishing the new versions of the software on a testing environment and after automating and sometimes manual testing, uploading the new version of, to the production environment. Release and deployment tools with containers, cloud, servers, builds, installation, configuration and administration of the testing and production environments. Deployment is usually performed first in a testing environment, a staging server, then the product is tested and then deployed in production. The entire process is typically automatic, automated following DevOps practices and processes. Software release and deployment is performed by the DevOps engineers or senior developers who write scripts to automate this process and implement the so-called continuous delivery. Software maintenance is the process of monitoring the software and maintaining its normal work, updating the software runtime environments, platforms and libraries, patching security problems, bug fixing, enhancing existing features and adding new functionalities to address the changing requirements. Software maintenance is usually a long lasting process that is going on for years. and is sometimes mixed with active development of new features. Software project management is responsible for the planning, scheduling, resource allocation, execution, tracking and delivery of software projects. Project managers or software team leaders are responsible for defining tasks. prioritizing and scheduling the tasks and tracking them and controlling the work progress during the entire software development life cycle. Project management is very important for the success of any software projects, so it needs experienced people to handle it responsibly. All the above mentioned activities from the software development life cycle are organized by software development method 
ontologies, development processes or process frameworks such as Waterfall, Scrum and Kanban. The development process defines the project workflow and development philosophy, key management, organizational and engineering practices. Most systems in modern software engineering are implemented in the spirits of Agile development. Agile development builds software feature by feature and developers iteratively design and build new features, integrate them, deploy them, uh, collect feedback, fix the problems, uh, and proceed with the next feature until the project is completed. Software development lifecycle, software project management, uh, and development methodologies are broad topic in software engineering, which developers learn for years during their career growth as they gain experience. Junior developers should be familiar with all these concepts, but cannot be experts. Did you like this lesson? Do you want more? Join the learners community at softunit.org. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more free video tutorials on coding, dev concepts and software development. Get access to more free dev lessons and learning resources for developers. Get help from mentors and meet other learners. And it's all free. So join now softuni.org. Also check out my other videos from the Dev Concept series where I explain and demonstrate many concepts and technologies from the software development profession. Type in the comments below what topics you would like to see next. Goodbye, see you in my next video.